Hello everybody, Great Ben here, and welcome to Poppy Playtime. Now, I know Chapter 1 came out a long time ago, but Chapter 2 is on the horizon of being released, so I thought, why not record it now? Record Chapter 1 now? Um, and to be honest, when I just watch, just looking at this and the music right now, literally everything is just getting my heart racing, you know? I'm I'm very excited to play this. Um, I've watched, like, I watched Decepticeye's playthrough of it. Well, not playthrough, video on it. I'm horrified. No, wait, it was Markiplier's, wasn't it? Or did I watch both? We'll just say I watched both. Um, but yeah, honestly horrified for this already. So let's just... I don't have a phone! Oh baby! Look at those luscious, luscious red lips! And that bow tie too! Can, I, can we just high five him right now, please? What are you smiling about? What do you have to smile about, huh? 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 Yeah. Oh! You are about to see. The most incredible doll ever invented. Okay, Pink Man. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. God, this is a little girl can talk to her. Lip syncing is worse than my answers. last video. She is the first doll the actually able to have a conversation with a child. Have you seen Toy Can Story? Believe? Just watch. Fine, I'll watch. Poppy. God, this is like. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one too. Hi, my name is. Is it Poppy. just like? I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Oh, God. Just like you. Oh, no. What's the time? Day time! And My nightmares! If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just two ninety nine. I never wanted to know how toys have been created. An entire hour and the most that thing just horrifies me looking at it. I don't want to see it. What are you waiting it's, for? like, bareheaded. No, factory. that's horrifying. I don't want to know how you put the cameras in it. Watch the time! Playtime! Oh god. Do I need to restart my game? Oh god, what are the Oh, they're all- Oh, oh, they're- It's like little babies disassembled and murdered in a horrible fashion. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, they're all moving in unison. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Oh. Oh. They really couldn't have taken that out in editing. Well, um, I'm sorry for the uh, cutscene, and I'm far I'm sorry for the 
cutscenes, video, and audio displacement. I'm, I apologize for that. Eat healthy like brawn. Brawn's dead. Oh, I don't want to go through there. Oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh, that made me jump. Oh, dear lord. Oh, I don't, I'm not, oh. Uh. Oh, for context, a book fell down and it made, it made me jump. <laughs> I got scared by a book. That's an ominous blue light. Of course this takes place at night. Where no one can hear you scream. Okay, what do you have for me, TV man? Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Cool. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. Nice. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Yeah. For example... This facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. I want and the 40s. That's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Content? Yes, it, it is worth it. Poppy wants to play! These are the eyes of a murderer. Oh, right, I can crouch. They'll never find me now. Is that blue, green, pink, yellow, red? I want a boogie bot. I want a boogie. Do I have to be here? That's not eerie. This music isn't eerie at all. No, no. The grab pack. Tighten the straps. Straps tightened. Hold both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Bang, 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 bang. Pull again to retract. Whoop. Hold on and hold on to grip the object. Come here. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Do not fire at a co-worker. Oh! It may cause injury! Wire is conductive. Used for rewiring. Yay! Thank you. Oh! That's so fun! Oh, that's so fun! You're coming with me, chair. Can I pull that train down? No, I can't. Okay. Wait, I can jump. What am I, dumb? Yes. Okay, how long have we been going for? 15 minutes. Big old no! Hi, Huggy Wuggy. High five. High five. Huggy Wuggy. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. This guy wants to hug me to the afterlife. With his mouth. <laughs> that. No. No. Um. As is. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. Why does it have to be lifelike? With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. This guy's gonna... Our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Yeah, he's gonna be brought to life in a second. Oh, why did they make them so...
Why did they make them so big? Oh god! Oh, I am going to hate the day that thing turns... That... The va when that thing comes to life and kills me, I'm... Oh, I'm not excited for... I'm not excited for... Hi, Huggy. Oh! You see these? These are the handprints of the dead! No. Jeez! So where do I take this? Oh god, he's not there anymore! Oh, and people say YouTubers fake their reactions. Do we still say that? Okay, so power's back. Huggy's gone. <laughs> Make a friend! Yay! Oh, Candy Cat! There, there, Candy Cat. <laughs> oh! Hello! Okay, no, I am, I am putting on my own music. I can't handle this. My poor little heart. <laughs> You know you gotta do it, Ben. You know you gotta do it. I'm not happy. This is the first horror game I've ever played in my life, just to let you all know. Okay, remember to take breaks. Huggy wants to give me a break from life. No huggy wuggy yet. Doesn't mean I'm not just terrified. No. Yay!
You can't be Spider-Man without red and blue. Nothing bad has nothing bad has happened yet, so there's no reason to feel there's no reason to feel worry. In fact, we don't need Disable Sisters music. Let's just turn that off. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. When you're staring at a demigod. What can I say except your game sucks. I'm joking, this actually is fun. I feel existential terror on my back. Well, it's sad, but you know, I gotta go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, come to think of it, I don't like anything about this. I don't know why I'm I'm singing this song. It is a nice little tune to Dwayne The Rock Johnson's voice is very soothing. Ah. I hate this, 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 this. Can I go? Can I go? Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Nobody leaves without a toy. <laughs> Over pain. Over misery. Um. Okay, I don't know what to be. My <gasps> Charizard. Charizard will guide me. Okay, Charizard. This is where we go on our grandiose adventure. Oh dear lord, I've already I already need a new diaper. Okay, let's read this. Make a friend. 1960. Okay. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set at the stage for all Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all the amazing things that he created. The Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly everything Playtime Co. For, for nearly every pay... Blah, 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 blah. Playtime Co's toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts. Yes, fed the proper human limbs. And it will then... And paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy. All on its own. 
Gone is the need for a complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do it, do all that, and more. I have to go up here? <laughs> can I just escape? Can I escape? Oh, of course there's a machine here. Oh, can I jump? I want to jump. Oh! My legs! Oh! My ankles, they hurt. Ooh, my ankles, my ankle ankles, my ankles. They do thing for hurting. Good hand. Oh yay, more electricity. Ben love electricity. That's what Ben do like. Ben do love. Okay, so it is possible. I've just been doing it wrong? And then, ah. I did it! Oh, there's the thing. Now we can play that. Okay. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, it's a pretty great feeling, too. Sometimes, though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Yeah, we all die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. No, she's right though. We are all young relative to something. It's, it's actually broken. Five hours later. No. It turns out it was just a display error because this should say power on, but no, everything's working fine. It was literally just a display issue. Everything's fine. We can now continue. There goes my toy. Can't wait to get my toy. Come on, come on, come on. Who's gonna come through first? Who's gonna come out first? Oh. That's cool. Ooh. This is cool. It's gonna come through there next. Oh, there it is. It's getting assembled. Whoa! Toy? Toy! My toy! Oh, it's like a cool tiger bee thing. I'll, I'm gonna call you Gerald. Gerald! It's you and me, Gerald. You and me against the world. Scanning, scanning. Toy acquired. Oh! 
<laughs> hello, hello. This is where I say goodbye to you, Gerald. You are nothing but worthless anyways. Where do I go? Here! <laughs> Gerald, no! EXP 1006? One, Isn't he wonderful? What? <laughs> I'm insane! So close. What? Oh, is this a dead end? Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is that his blood? Right there. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Suck it, Huggy! Oh. Oh. oh, I need to call the producer. Uh, hello? Yes? Yes, producer? Yes, I beat him. I killed him. Oh. oh, this isn't my phone. Oh, my heart. Oh. Oh, let me just calm down after that. Whew. Whoa. If I just. Oh, I can jump off. Oh, no. Wow, so if I was any. Wow. Oh no, that's very bad. That's a lot of things for a something to thing. Okay, that's just me. Okay, so that's a giant poppy. I wonder what's in there. It's probably nothing. Oh, you can see his blood there. Hold on, let's get a better shot. Of Ooh, there's some of his blood there too. Damn, so is he like an actual living organism? That's like, that's crazy. What? How big is this place? Oh, oh a TV. Okay.
Huh. So they were conducting s experiments. And whatever that was making that fighting sound, I'm assuming Huggy, um, killed them. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. Oh. Oh, they... They bleed. Um, so I'm gonna assume all this is blood, too. No, stop, no. No, stop, no, go back. Run, turn around, no, stop, danger, run. Okay, who was the idiot to, like... Like, how did they, um, draw these? Like, well, no, oh, there's a stop right there and a... Yeah, okay. <sighs> this is wood and metal, so... I'm gonna assume that's friendly. Nice wallpaper! The door's still there. Okay, so this is all a part of something? <sighs> is the door still there? <laughs> Just wanna make sure I have a clear exit. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> um. Oh, the wallpaper now. <laughs> but it's fine on this side. Huh. All the music's. Hello. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, I can tell I'm gonna have to move this in chapter two. Something's moving over there, I can tell by the shadows. Oh, not a wallpaper. You opened my case. Yes, I did. Do I get money for it? <gasps> okay, chapter one. A tight squeeze. That was, um, horrifying. <laughs> um, Oh, okay, so, okay, so, like, thoughts on the game. It was very good. For my first, like, real horror game, it was amazing. Um, and, like, I, I'm, like, really excited to see where the, uh, story goes. But, like, I, just, I really only have one main question from the whole, uh, um, chapter one. Was, like, Huggy, like, a living organism or, like, a robot? You know? Oh, are they all living? Oh, is that the secret? That was crazy. This this was a crazy experience. Like, especially like the time in between um me figuring out like how to um turn the machine on. Like, 
I could have turned it on at any point because all I needed to do was press B, press E on that button after I got it, the uh, circuits um all connected. But um, no, yeah, that was a really that that was really fun, and I'm excited to see what happens in chapter two. But uh, yeah. If uh, you enjoyed today's scary video, make sure to demolish the like button, and hey, why not consider subscribing? It is completely free, and um, it'll really help out. And uh, is there anything else I missed? Uh, no, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!